Hello, my name is John Taylor. I'm president-elect for the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries and I've just finished hosting a round table here in Singapore around the future of the actuarial profession. Now, one of the key reasons for holding such a strategy session was to take a bit of a step back and look at some of the very significant trends that are acting on business and indeed society today. So, for example, climate change is a big part of that, as is resource management. But I think the greatest focus we had today was on technology, that's kind of information technology and, uh, and indeed data science. So the pace of change in this area is absolutely phenomenal. So just as an example, something like 90% of all the data that has ever been generated in human history has been generated in only the last two years. That gives some sense of the, the pace of change. And of course, there's a very growing and uh, vibrant uh, science emerging around, around data science that encompasses things like machine learning uh, and predictive analytics. And so the question for the actuarial, science, uh, actuarial profession is how do we maintain our business leadership in areas of life insurance, pensions, investment, um, at a time of such phenomenal change. And one of the key things that came out of the round table today is the need to refresh our actuarial toolkit to make sure that actuaries uh, become conversant in, this, in the uh, techniques of data science so that we can ask the right business questions knowing the art of the possible and we can interpret the answers clearly in a way that allows us to communicate them effectively to our stakeholders like boards for example or shareholders or indeed consumers who uh, are increasingly having to make their own financial decisions. Now I'm uh, in terms of keeping our, school, our toolkit current, I'm always uh, encouraged by young actuaries and indeed students entering the, the profession for a number of reasons. First of all, uh, they, they're the ones that uh, go through the most recent version of the curriculum and uh, that has an element of data science in there. And indeed many of you will be far more familiar with uh, technology than uh, some of us older actuaries in there and indeed the attitude of uh, younger actors who tend to be far more flexible and creative and have a, a lot of curiosity um, within them I think is uh, going to be a tremendous asset in your careers um, in the future so in many ways you as a generation are at the, the vanguard of keeping the actuarial profession current and one of the things we need to do is make sure that uh, older generations of actuaries uh, have some sense of data science um, as well. So that's going to be a key area of focus for me within the IFOA over the next uh, year or two, making sure the profession as a whole uh, remains current, particularly in relation to data science. So thank you for listening to me and the best of luck with your actuarial studies. Yeah.